I tried to create the feeling, and I, and I lived up to it, that my word was my bond. He didn't need a contract. If I said I'll do something, I did it. I tried not to take the other guy's pants off in a, in a, in a negotiation. Because I think in any negotiation, you fight for what's important, you leave the other person with something that they can win, that's, that you don't care that much about, but you don't tell them that, and so they, they don't feel that they've been taken advantage of. I like to feel that if I, somebody said something to me and said, you can't tell anybody, I didn't tell anybody. Now, obviously, I use the information for my own benefit without telling anybody. I mean, I sat as a privileged participant in a lot of high-level meetings in the network because of my friendship with these people. It obviously helped me by giving me vital information. But I didn't go around putting it in the paper. I didn't go around telling people so-and-so said this. So I, I truly believe that whatever success I had was largely based on my relationships with people because we all can represent good talent or bad talent, as the case may be. And each show is as good as the next show, almost. So what I needed was the edge. So that when there was a question, they're going to buy a show, buy mine. And I truly believe that came, a lot of it came out of relationships with the key buyers or with the people who could give me information that I could use in trying to push my show through. Because I really think if I sat in the buyer seat and people came in and pitched me 10 and a half hours, it didn't matter which one. I mean, they, they don't all stand out. They all sound similar after a while. If you've heard enough pictures, so who are you going to give them? Shit? You know, so relationships count. And relationships mean something in negotiation. I never gave the store away. I don't think I was ever taken advantage of. I fought hard for my clients. I also had the, I was fortunate in many cases where my relationship with the client was that strong that I could sit in a negotiation and say, they won't take that. You know, Aren't you going to speak to them? I said, no, they won't take it. And I had the power to do it because the client trusted me. Now, that can be dangerous, too. You can lose a big deal. So that gave you added strength in a negotiation. But I really think that the, at the bottom line, I tried to be fair. But I fought very hard for what I needed. And I believe I was creative in negotiations. I was creative in coming up with ways to get what I want, to give something else away. So that's, that was my trick. And I truly believe that works. And that's what I tell students. They got a network.